Have you heard of FOMO, the fear of missing out? It's the favorite trick of the investment industry. When they want you to invest your money, they use FOMO. They say things like, now is the time. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. If you do not invest now, you will regret it later. And most people fall for it. They part with their money. I'm sure you've, had, uh, you've heard such a pitch before. Tonight, we'll talk about the man who mastered it, Sam Bankman Freed. He turned FOMO into a fine art and himself into one of the world's youngest billionaires, nicknamed the Crypto King, with his face plastered on magazines and billboards. He hobnobbed with famous actors, celebrities and sports stars. He became a billionaire before he turned 30. He set up a $32 billion empire and then he lost it all. In 2022, it came crashing down. Turned out, Bankman Freed had embezzled money. He'd stolen $8 billion from his customers. When the scam came to light, his empire went bust. He'd built something called FTX. It was a crypto exchange, sort of like a marketplace, where you could use real money like dollars or euros to buy digital money like Bitcoin or Ether. Basically, you could buy cryptocurrency here. At its peak, FTX was the world's largest crypto exchange. Then Bankman Freed started pulling investor money from FTX. He took the money out and he used it to make risky bets on which he suffered big losses. In the end, FTX collapsed like a house of cards. The cryptocurrency industry might be new. The players like Sam Bankman Freed might be new. But this kind of fraud, this kind of corruption is as old as time and we have no patience for it. Sam Bankman Freed was found guilty of conspiracy and fraud and sentenced to 25 years in jail. Currently, he's 32 years of age. By the time he's out, he'll be 57 and he will lose his assets too. The court has asked him to give up $11 billion worth of assets. This money will be used to repay the victims of his fraud. Now, Bankman Freed says he did not want to cause harm and he plans to appeal the verdict. But the evidence is stacked against him and his story has become a cautionary tale for cryptocurrency investors everywhere in the world. Which brings us to the larger picture. How will this case impact the crypto market? The space is still quite challenging to navigate because cryptocurrency breaks all traditional rules and formats of money. Crypto is not tangible. You cannot see or touch it. And investing it is even more complicated. The market is very speculative. I'll give you one example. Compare Bitcoin with your traditional assets, like gold. Say you have a gold bar. You can assign value to this bar based on its weight or purity levels. Then you have stocks. And you could argue that stock markets also operate on speculation, and you'd be right, but stock markets are also tightly regulated. Plus, you can assign the price of a share based on the company's performance, based on its profit and loss statements, and the assets on its books. This is the traditional way, but Bitcoin has no weight or purity levels and no underlying assets or company statements, nothing tangible. So how do you determine its price? Through demand. The higher the demand, the higher the price. That's how cryptocurrencies are valued, based on their demand. And this makes them very volatile. One tweet by Elon Musk can swing the cryptocurrency market more than the budget speech of a major economy. And we've seen such swings over and over again. In recent weeks, Bitcoin has witnessed a massive rally. Earlier this month, the price of one Bitcoin crossed $72,000. At the beginning of this year, one Bitcoin was worth $42,000. So the price has jumped by over 70% in less than three months, a 70% jump. Earlier today, Bitcoin was hovering around $70,000. So the price still remains quite high, meaning Sam Bankman Freed's conviction has not dampened spirits. And that's true for the Indian market too. Cryptocurrency is not legal tender in India, but you can invest in it. And Indians are doing it in large numbers. There's been a surge in crypto investments in India. India's top crypto exchanges have seen a big jump in trading. We're talking about the likes of Vazirx, CoinDCX, and ZebPay. These are India's top three exchanges. Between February and March, trading at these exchanges has shot up by over 200%. And what is the value of these trades? Well over $500 million. In fact, India now has the world's second largest crypto market. Crypto transactions in India are worth well over $260 billion. 
And this is despite the fact that India charges one of the highest tax rates on crypto transactions. Profits face a 30% tax rate. So if you make a profit of, say, 1,000 rupees from a, from a crypto transaction, you'll owe the government 300 rupees in taxes. But even this high tax rate has not deterred investors, and it has left India's regulators worried. Earlier this year, Shakti Kanta Das spoke about it. He's the chief of India's Reserve Bank. And he said cryptocurrencies are, and I'm quoting, instruments with no underlying value. And they pose a risk to emerging market economies like India. In fact, let me quote him further. While others might see a renewed cryptocurrency party, we see significant risks. That's what the chief of India's central bank has said. He is advising caution. Clearly, he's worried about a bubble in this market. So India's investors should be careful. Take lessons from the fall of Sam Bankman-Fried and do not let FOMO dictate your investment choices.